Hello everybody, my name is Katemoir and welcome back for another video of Detroit Become Human Boys. Continue the series with uh Ludnan Anderson. So I guess with Connor. Uh Ank is hostile towards us right now. Instability reconcile with Ludnan Anderson. Alright, we've got a new mission. We gotta try to reconcile with him. I mean that's the thing. Maybe I went too rough with him. I'm kind of like I'm kind of playing the bad cop here. I'm, ch but I should probably be the good cop or something. Be like empathize with him, stuff like that. But Number five in the third. that's the thing. I kind of want to, you know, I want to make it understand we're partners. We gotta work as partners, but My shit had to I gotta be more than that to him, I guess. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Okay, let's uh, let's scan him up, boys. See who he is. Uh, Pedro, illegal gambling fraud. Oh, okay. So, all right, he's trying to to get him. Detroit food hygiene license. Okay, C. That's not too good. About this guy, who is he? Uh, Gary, re resisting arrest, breach of hygiene regulations. Okay. Ink. All right. Uh, does everybody like have a a record or something? All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Apologize. Uh, I want to apologize. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh wow! You've even got a brown nose and apology program. Guys at Cyberlife thought everything, huh? So you like that? So at least I'm gonna try to reconcile with him. So so far, it's working out for us. What's that? Hamburgers, of course, and uh, that, the uh, soda. There you go. Oh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. I'll leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. Yeah, let's go. See, See I want to reconcile with him. I want to make sure that, like, he likes me. We're good partners. I thought I I pressed the right things. Company. I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant, but I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. Okay. Alright, he's tense now, so he's getting up, boys. Cholesterol? No, I'm not gonna say that because I know he's not gonna like that. Gambling? This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. Okay. Uh, about Connor. Uh, Ink and Androids. Uh, the Viants. Maybe I should tell you what we know about Deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. Yeah, I don't want to go into the whole thing with him because he's not going to like it. Which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions. Which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> uh, about Connor? No, about... Ink and Andrew. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate Android so much? I have my reasons. Okay, what about Connor then? Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Yeah. Their appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. 
Well, they fucked up. Oh, all right then. You ever dealt with deviants before? Uh, yes, I did. Yeah, I did. My first life was actually a deviant. Back. A deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me. I I I do know. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? My conclusion is that a sincere, psychological, cold, uh, sincere. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. There we go, he liked that. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. See, he started to like me more. I'm starting to get the hang of Ink. I know how he works and everything. There we go. He started, he started to like me a little bit, boys. Uh, everything I chose was on his liking so that's good so I know what to say basically to Ank at this point I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh, well do you plan on staying in the elevator no I'm coming okay I'm on my way uh, question the suspect all right there we go what do we know about this guy not much just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw... Feathers. Why is there feathers here? An LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're going to need more cops. Yeah, we're going to need more cops for that. All right, let's go. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Correct. He likes that. I'm sure he likes that because it's less paper for him to do. I mean, I can do that easily. Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. All right, let's go. Everything clear? Everything clear, Inc? He checked up that room, that's okay. Okay. You ready? Alright, let's go, Ink. Bunch of pigeons. What the fuck is this? The apartment, Jesus. what the hell? Stinks. What the hell are all these pigeons doing here? Holy shit. This guy hasn't been there for a long time, or was he? Our man's gone. Yeah, suspect doesn't eat. So he's an android for sure. Cares for wild animals, okay. So I don't think he's really that much of a dangerous deviant. Confirm suspect is deviant, find cause of loud noise. Uh, noise. Okay, we got that. Forgery, okay. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Okay. We got a bunch of things here. I want to look at everything, make sure that I don't miss anything, boys. What is that? Military jacket. Okay. RT. Probably initials. You put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Yeah, that's not too smart, but whatever. Okay, we got something here. Urban farm poster, okay. And we got another thing here. Where is it recently put in? So, okay. Analy analysis pr proceed, there we go. I guess that's it. There's so Yeah, there's something behind that, that poster, there we go. 
There's a book. What the hell? What's this? Found something? Yeah, I found. I don't know. Well, it looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Okay, right. let's look around a little bit more, boys. I don't have anything here. We do have any uh, something in that room. It's a lot of these logos and stuff. I don't truly get it, though. Uh, sample, uh, take. That's from an android, so he did get rid of his, uh, stuff. His LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Blue blood, yeah, it was a divine for sure, yeah. Alright, it's, um, it's confirmed for sure it's an android. Ah, Jesus, I hate these things! Calm down, man. Okay. Anything else? Bunch of uh, of stuff. Okay. Any idea what it means? RA nine. Written two thousand four hundred and seventy-one times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Huh. Is it? Obsessive compulsive, compulsive writing. Is it share? Analyze. Okay. What about this? Uh, well, it's not a chair, but the wooden stool. There we go. What about that? Open marker pen. Okay, we gotta reconstruct, see what happened here. So he did write like a bunch of stuff. Wait, so Spell ran to the living room. So he ran to the living room. He was here recently. So when he heard us, he basically went away. All right, so he ran to the living room. He was right there. Yeah, he, he did stuff right here. Books. I thought I was the last. Hang on, uh, Hank. Give me a second, Hank. Metal Oak. I like I like Connor. He's my favorite character so far. Playing detective with uh, androids and whatnot. I, th I think it's more challenging than anything else, really. The Kara stuff is not really my type, but I really liked. Uh... There we go. I really liked uh, the way. Suspect ran towards the entrance. Okay. What about that? Erdos enter. Okay. So now he went. Where did he win? Where did he go? He jumped on the roof. Okay. Yeah, to keep some. Uh, Expose the suspect. Yeah. I find that I find it more challenging and more fun to play as Connor than anything else. Holy shit! God damn. Pigeons. What are you waiting for? Chase it! Let's go, boys! Where are you going? You're not going anywhere! Come back here! He looks like, uh... He looks like the guy from the first Watch Dogs. I forgot his name, boys. Don't you think? He really looks like it. Uh, first but re easy but slow. Fast but risky. Okay. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Balance, safer D route, fast but risky. There we go. Let's go, boys. I got it. I'm going fast and risky, man. Uh, safe D route, direct but crowded. Oh, uh, no. Safe D route. Let's go, boys. We're going to get him. We're going to get him. Jump. You're not going anywhere, man. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's right there. He's right there. He's not going anywhere, boys. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Fuck. Where did he go? 
We gotta go, we gotta go. We gotta go, boys. Safer D route, direct, but slow. Uh, fast, but uh, risky. Okay. We're gonna go there, boys. Let's go there. Right, let's jump. I like that uh, chasing, boys. I like it a lot. Alright. On the train, this this chase is crazy. Holy shit. You're not going anywhere, my guy. I'm an android too. You're not like you're not gonna get rid of me so easily. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Right, let's go. Everything he does, I'm gonna do it faster and better. I'm a cop, man. I was made for this. Save, uh, safe but slow. I have a choice. I don't want to get into the crowd, boys. I don't want them to be like. Okay, over there. The last one. All right, let's go, boys. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I don't have a visual. All right, he got it, he got it. No, we're, Hank. Chance of survival. Hank is hostile, but I should've, I need the, I need the guy. I need to, I need to get him. Sorry, Hank. Seven four zero zero four nine six one. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class four errors. You've been deemed effective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. Yeah, I know. You bastard. You saw I was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission. I am a cop. I had to make a decision, man. Statistic, a zero, a one in your fucking program, huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment. Come here. Like, I'm not gonna make friends with Hank. It's just not gonna happen, all right? I keep getting up and down and up and down. It's not gonna happen. But you're just their slave. I said shut up. Seriously? Holy shit. Rather kill himself? Alright. Fucking androids. Fuck off, Hank. I'm, t I'm beginning to get tired of your bullshit. You know? Are you s <laughs> I don't get him, boys. The nest, there we go. Now he's, like, I was getting somewhere with him, but then he got all hostile towards me because I didn't save him. I thought he's a cop. I thought he really, like, he would have pre really preferred me to save him other the, uh, than uh, try to kidnap or try to get the like the the dangerous guy. Are you serious? I'm a cop, man. I gotta, I gotta take the murderer with the deviant, whoever we're chasing. I gotta get after him. For forget about the guy that's in danger. He can't save himself for all I care. It's like, come on now, game. Report committed. Uh, report uh, committed suicide. All right. I'm still alive, at least for now. I'm still alive as Connor, and that's all that matters to me. I'm gonna try to keep him alive this time around. We're back as Marcus. Who, who are these guys? Who are you? Fugitives, just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. Um. Are you? You're Jericho, right? This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. You're, you're all a bunch of androids. How many are you? 
There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. Few succeed. Humans have little pity for our kind. Refuge. Trail. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. There's a place where we can be free. Find Jericho. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Uh, lost, somber, lucid, the wreck. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see it. Yeah, that's not freedom at all. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. I'm not staying long, that's for sure. Going. Unless they give me no options, I'm not staying here long. She wants me to talk to Lucy. Settle in, find Lucy, explore Jericho. Settle in? Yeah, they, 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 they're not giving me any options. Alright, so I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to stay here, uh, stay here boys. The fire. So we're settling in, boys. Okay. Uh, find loose, explore Jericho. I'm just gonna explore around first. Want to make sure to really look at everything first. Crate already emptied. Okay. I want to make sure they're not like psychopaths. I know they're trying to be free and everything, but I don't trust them for one second, boys. Several life warehouse. I kind of want to work out. Kind of want to have like the crossover with Connor. That would be really cool to be able to help out Connor and, and everything. Okay. What the fuck is this? Threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. Okay. We're slowly dying out. That's interesting. Um, I just gotta find Lucy, I guess. Uh, I don't know where she could be. That could be her. Is that Lucy? Like the whole destroyed body and everything? I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. Okay. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Okay. She's dead. Right right there. Okay. She just died in my hands. That's uh all right. That's uh, that's interesting for sure. Really? You're going far, my guy. These <laughs> these game uh, are going far. All right. I'm guessing this is the Lucy over there. There is this guy we can talk to right there. Not really, you're about to die too. 
diagnostic program isn't working. I don't think you would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. Oh, shit. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I don't want to shut down. Are you going to have to eventually? You're gonna have to eventually, buddy. So let's talk to Lucy, I guess. Um, since she's, uh, she seem, seems to be her. She's uh, the only option right now. But that's North. Okay. Uh, time here, wounded. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably lying somewhere on this boat. Uh, spare parts, wounded. How long yeah, how long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. Okay, a month. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. Don't you have any spare parts? Parts in blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? It's not that simple. Can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. Anyway, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. I didn't hear. I think came here for comfort. I don't even know why I came here in the first place, North. Don't give me that bullshit. I don't even know why I'm here. I, I obviously she's not Lucy. I really know who, who's Lucy, by the way. Maybe it's her. It's gotta be right. It's the only option. No, it's not her. So, who the hell is Lucy? Okay. What's the thing? She probably North probably thinks I'm here because oh, I wanted to find this place. It's not that I wanted, it's just I was curious and all. I didn't have too many options, so you're not gonna get me, not gonna let me up, right? Where where should I go down? It's gotta be, like, she's gotta be somewhere. Oh, okay. So, that's Lucy. Are you Lucy? What happened with her eyes? Sit down. Might, it must be their, their kind of gods or something like that. Not really a fan of that. Show me. Show you what? There you go. Oh, she's gonna repair me? Okay. like how it doesn't hurt at all. I'll, if only it was that simple for humans, man. Drink this. Blue blood? All right. Whatever happened to you, Lucy? Pretty weird with your eyes. Let's drink. Something's fishy about them. I just don't know, boys. I, it just seems fishy, all of this. What about my end? You had it all. And you lost it all. You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. Okay. A part of shadow and a part of light. 
Yeah. She's kind of a medium type of thing. Which will prevail. Your choices will shape our destiny. Well, you're go you're all fucked then. I am telling you right now, you're not going to survive that long. <laughs> if your ends is uh, if my ends if your destiny is in my ends, uh well, you're all fucked, boys. Propose a plan to Simon. Burn this entire place up and burn all these androids. That's what I'm going to do. I'm telling you right now, boys. Simon I know where we can find spare parts. Yeah, we can find spare parts in the junkyard, you know. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. Exactly. We don't have to ask permission. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. There we go. Nerfs like that. Jericho as well, okay. Simon likes that. Okay. I'm in. Time to decide, alright. So I did pretty much everything. There wasn't too many options here. It was a type of a chapter that you didn't have to do too much. Uh, so I'm neutral towards everybody so far. Uh, I haven't pissed off anybody. It's not like I had the option to do it uh, either, so it wasn't that difficult at all. I really want to try to find a way to get Hank onto my side, boys. I really want to get Hank with me, like to be with Connor and really be a good partner. But I think I fucked it up when I didn't try to save him uh, from that jump and whatnot. I chose to go after the guy instead of the android. Maybe I should have tried to save him, but what's more important, trying to get, like trying to accomplish your job or trying to, to be friends with a cop that's never going to like you anyways. I don't know, boys, you guys can let me know. You guys can let me know if I should like continue my ways with Ank, continue to like try to convince him and stuff, like really try. Or like just forget about it and do my job. I don't know. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to uh, uh, stop it for right now. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Keep it easy boys.